Hello and welcome to the Gojin Podcast. I'm your hostess with the mostest <laughs> Gojin. You can call me Jen if you want to. Um, today is Sunday, April 23rd, and this is episode 105. Hey, how are y'all doing? It is rainy and cold here, so I'm back in from uh, our porch sitting outside enjoying sunshine. Um, I'm back in my room being really happy that this rain is washing the pollen away. We need the pollen. I'm all for pollen. Don't send me angry emails and say, it's your fault. We don't have bees. No, I'm all for pollen. I'm just not all for my car being uh, a greenish yellow when <laughs> it's supposed to be white. But anyway, um, I had a pretty good week. All I did really was think about going camping, and then we went camping. So we went to uh, the Lake Reedsville, North Carolina campground. I think it is a city run campground by the city of Reedsville. Um, it's only about 30 miles away for us. We had a great time. Um, even though the forecast was for thunderstorms all weekend, um, we decided to go ahead and go because why not? So uh, it's not like we're tent camping. No, I'm too old for that. But um, we went, I got off work early on Thursday, so we had Thursday afternoon, Friday all day, Saturday all day, and then we came home today, Sunday. And so Friday, uh, Thursday and Friday were gorgeous, sunshiny days. Um, not a cloud in the sky, a little hot, but I wasn't complaining. Uh, then we had some rain overnight Friday night, but Saturday the sun was back out, so uh, we everything was fine on Saturday. And then last night it started raining about supper time, and then it didn't. It hasn't stopped yet, so uh, that's good. We needed the rain. We needed to wash away the pollen. I'm not complaining. Uh, we did. We had a wonderful wonderful trip. Uh, the campground was very nice, uh, clean, um, well-maintained, nice and shady. Our spot, um, we felt, in a way we felt secluded, but we were still with, you know, in a campground you're squished in the way they squish you in. But um, we really, we enjoyed our site. The, there's a lake with all kinds of water, you know, fun to do. There was people boating. There were people boating at something like 8 o'clock in the morning. What? Oh. But anyway, I was, I was sleeping at 8 o'clock in the morning. So, um, I didn't do a whole lot of crafting, but I did do some fun stuff. So, more on that later. Um, let's see. Oh, I did want to correct. Last week I said I had watched uh, the series Bosch, B-O-S-C-H, on Netflix. No. It is an Amazon production, and so it was on my Amazon Prime. And you know, then it's included with the Prime um, membership thing. And I really enjoyed it. Um... Let's see. Coming up, next Sunday is the last day of April. And then May 1st will be that the next Monday. So that's when a new Harry Potter House Cup starts. And even though I didn't do a very good job of participating this time because I was so intent on working on my owl, which I didn't finish, but still, um, I am planning on... Uh, being in the house cup again, and I will probably make more blanket squares. 
um, because I did real well with that. Any any time the prompt was kind of general and you know you can make something red, I would make a red blanket square. So yay me! So that's what I'm I'm planning. I'm not planning an owl at this time. I also know that I change my mind a lot. So anyway, that's next weekend. Now, as far as knitting, crochet, blah, blah, crafting, um, no finished objects. I have a blanket square that is ready to be joined to the rest of the blanket. And I am joining them as I make them, which I really I like that because that means my blanket, when I'm done with the last square, I'll be done. I think I have eight or nine blanket squares. Um, I will try to remember to include. I don't. You don't need to see a picture of it. Um, one of the best things about it is this, you can tell, this is a nice big hook. This is a J. So it's a 10, 10 millimeter, no, it's a 6 millimeter. I don't ever use the millimeters on anything, so I don't know. But that is ready to be joined to the rest of the blanket. What else? Excuse me for going out of frame. I think that's very bad podcaster etiquette. So I hope you blinked while I was doing that. Yeah? Everybody blinked? Yay! <laughs> Lucky me. Just more sock. Um, in fact, that's how much progress I've made since last time. Maybe two rows. I wasn't in the sock mood and um, so I didn't sock much, but it's there. It'll be probably going to work with me this week. Um, I have no excuse. But this is my 10 stitch Tunisian bag. And I have all kinds of little uh, minis and scraps in there. This, does that look like a very orange-orange? Then it's right at home. That's the latest square that I'm working on. I've just been having the best time with this. I think if you remember the last time, last week, I guess, I was right here with this brown and green camouflage next to this green and rust with a little white camouflage and then I got out of that and I was next to this and I finished this and I was in this nice brown and gold and then I got to the orange section and I'm ready to start working my way across this side. You know, I really like this because as it, as I work on it, it just organically grows. I truly, truly love it. And I've been showing you the backside. Oops, there went my hole, please, while I locate my hook and yarn. I just love it. I love the regular, um, regularness, regularity of the Tunisian stitch. It's just, you know, those vertical posts, and I just love it. I love it. I love that I could pull it out and work on it, you know, five minutes, ten minutes, twenty minutes, an hour. Whatever I'm feeling like, which I guess it's I can do that with every all of my other projects, can I? Yeah, I don't know. There's just something about there's just something about that ten stitch. If I had had more time, 
I would have done more. But Jennifer, you were camping. It's not like you were doing anything work. What were you doing? I was painting. I had, uh, I took my watercolors with me to our camp this weekend and I did a little bit of watercolor. And I know that uh, y'all expect me to be professional, right? No, all I wanted to do was, this is just a watercolor stripe up the side and across the top. I did have extra time for doodling, so um, I doodled there. I doodled the lake, and I played with some uh, fancy lettering for camping. Um, this is my two-page spread for the week that has just finished. I really, really like this layout, this spread, with the seven days going down here and then my bullet list over here. And then I had more time, so I had more time for uh, journaling. For journaling and doodling. And then I did do the watercolor. That was fun. That was just fun. And so then I made this for my this week coming up layout. I just did some uh, rainbow on one side and then just did the lines in the blue watercolor on the other side. And that was just fun. And that's, that's just fun. And so it's nothing there now. And so I hope to show it to you next week at the end of April. This was my Instax picture that I took. Uh, yeah, it, it's really dark. It was dark when I took it, or it was getting dark. But we had our campfire going. We roasted hot dogs. Um, I know where my dogs are in this picture just because I was there. <laughs> I think I took some, some pictures with my phone so that I'll be able to add those um, at the end of, well, what did I, oh, this was my little, this is my little picture that I painted. Yes, I think I'm going to be going professional pretty soon and selling my, <laughs> no, it's just fun. It's just fun to get out your toys, play, be creative. Just do it, you know, just, this was a good piece of uh, a square of really nice paper, so I used it for the watercolors, but um, it made me happy. I love the way the watercolors flow and move, and uh, you just kind of see what they're going to do, more than with other kinds of painting where you, you know, you do stuff, and then that's the idea. That didn't make any sense at all. But watercolors are more flowing and, and they're going to do what they're going to do. And um, regular paints, you paint and then that's what you get. I'm very, I'm not being good here. I'm just trying to get to my notes. And here's my notes. Yes, I showed you my sock and my blanket. Um, I told you that we enjoyed the uh, campground. Our spot had a view of the water. Not a great view, but we could see it. And um, I think there's, there's a lot to be said for living on the water. The way the water can calm you down and kind of... Just make you feel better. So I, I did really enjoy that. Um, next Sunday is the end of April. I plan to be here just like I am every Sunday, whether you like it or not. <laughs> I hope you like it. I hope you're having fun. Are you 
working on your new projects, having fun, making socks, making blankets. I have seen on Instagram some gorgeous doily making going on. That's with that crochet thread and it's so fun. I, I admire that work. I truly do because that's, I don't have, I have really big, goofy women, woman hands. I don't have, you know, nice, petite, little, I have a first cousin who has just teeny little hands, but not me. But anyway, uh, I think you need them to do that, that really fine doily lace. At any rate, I'm going to make a slideshow of the photographs that we took on our phones and um, and I will put it at the end of the video. Our dogs had a really good time. Um, they just they just really seem to they seem to know somehow that it's our campsite, our you know this is our little area. You know, don't get off my lawn, kind of. <laughs> but they know that it's like this is our home. And yeah, this is this is where we are. They just they're so cute, have so much fun. Um, our little girl Bella, she seems to enjoy walking around more, whereas the little boy is more social and friendly, and he'll stop and let people pet him, and she won't do that. Uh uh, not gonna happen <laughs> unless you have food. So anyway, I'm going to put the slideshow at the end, and um, I hope you're doing well. I'm glad I was able to get back in time today to, to record this, and uh, I look forward to seeing you next Sunday. And until I do, you know I wish you nothing but love and laughter.